Fermented fish is a traditional preservation of fish. Before refrigeration, canning and other modern preservation techniques became available, fermenting was an important preservation method. Fish rapidly spoils, or goes rotten, unless some method is applied to stop the bacteria that produce the spoilage. Fermentation is a method which attacks the ability of microbials to spoil fish. It does this by making the fish muscle more acidic. Bacteria usually cease multiplying when the pH drops below 4.5. A modern approach, biopreservation, adds lactic acid bacteria to the fish to be fermented. This produces active antimicrobials such as lactic and acetic acid, hydrogen peroxide, and peptide bacteriocenes. It can also produce the antimicrobial nissen, a particularly effective preservative. Fermented fish preparations can be notable for their putrid smell. These days there are many other techniques of preserving fish, but fish is still fermented because some people enjoy the taste. Risks Alaska has witnessed a steady increase of cases of botulism since 1985. It has more cases of botulism than any other state in the United States of America. This is caused by the traditional Eskimo practice of allowing animal products such as whole fish, fish heads, walrus, sea lion, and whale flippers, beaver tails, seal oil, birds, etc., to ferment for an extended period of time before being consumed. The risk is exacerbated when a plastic container is used for this purpose instead of the old fashioned, traditional method, a grass lined hole, as the botulinum bacteria thrive in the anaerobic conditions created by the airtight enclosure in plastic. Topic. Preparations Topic. See also Food fermentation Preserved fish Fermented fish are highly popular in northeast states of India and Bangladesh. There are several products traditionally prepared in the region viz. Sheetal or Seetal in Bengali prepared from small carp Puntius SPP, is a product of Assam and Tripura in Kokborok, Burma. After applying oil on the fishes, they are put into the earthen pots for about six months and the final product is solid with sticky surface and strong pungent smell. It is eaten after elaborate cooking and prepared dishes like vegetable mix curry or chutney, and eaten as condiment with rice or chapati. Other products are tungtap of Meghalaya, nari of Manipur and numzing of Assam. They are also similar products. <laughs> Notes <laughs>